Prince Charles, 73, was back on royal duties this week as he attended Royal Ascot in Berkshire. The Prince of Wales and Camilla, the Duchess of Cornwall, arrived by carriage for the second day of the race, leaving an empty seat, in what was interpreted as a nod to the Queen, who was unable to attend. Due to sporadic mobility issues, Her Majesty has been absent from other royal engagements in recent months, including at her Platinum Jubilee celebrations. Alongside the monarch's reduced activities, Charles has taken on some of the Queen's duties, such as the state opening of Parliament last month. When the Prince of Wales exceeds to the throne, he is anticipated to want to slim down the monarchy. The future king is reported to be concerned that the public get value for money from the royal family and apparently wants to streamline the number of core royals who make up the firm. However, there remains a key problem with the idea of a slimmed down monarchy, according to Richard Fitzwilliams. Speaking about the royal family, the royal commentator told Express.co.uk, they are attached to 3,000 organizations or institutions. The thing is there is this problem with the so-called slimmed down monarchy. It is already slimmed down. The royal departures are signs that the monarchy is already being slimmed down, according to Mr. Fitzwilliams. He said, Andrew and the Sussexes are no longer performing royal duties. It has already happened. The commentator added that the royal family's reduced size would affect the number of royal patronages that are handed out. The expert claimed this could be the case until Prince William and Kate, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge's children take on royal duties. He said, some who are performing their duties are not young. They are of an advanced age. So, until the Cambridge's children are able to perform royal duties, there will be far fewer patronages, I think, or certainly fewer. Mr. Fitzwilliams expects that Charles will rule with his own style, noting the various causes he has allied himself with over the years, such as protecting the natural environment. He said, Every monarch is an individual with an individual touch and a particular angle to their work and to the rules. You would expect him to do so. And we know where his enthusiasm lies. There is no doubt. He cannot be an activist monarch of any sort, so he has constitutionally the same role as the Queen.